YouTube adds assisted trim to their copyright system. Why once again am I stood in my porch under a weird orange light doing some kind of weird shaky video? Well, YouTube has added a very useful feature which I think you should know about. It's called YouTube assisted trim and if you've ever received a copyright strike, you know how hard it can be to locate the specific audio or video in question and then go back and remove them. In the past, if it's an audio clip, then you have to do overlay or you have to mute that entire section or maybe even the entire video. Whereas now, if someone puts a specific copyright claim against you, it will flag exactly where in the video it happens to be and assist you in trimming it out. Under the old system, what would happen is that they'd flag roughly where it was in the video and you'd have to go and look and vaguely guess and then you'd edit your original source file and upload or, you know, take a hit in your wallet or your views. Now, you can see that under the new system it flags it. You can highlight roughly where it is. It will select it for you and it will automatically do all the legwork for you, removing that from the clip using the trim tool. YouTube have gone on to say, we've added an explicit trim option directly in the video copyright details page. You can trim out the copyrighted content claimed by Content ID in your video, which automatically releases the claim. The endpoints of the edit are preset where the claim content appears in the video. We are working on allowing adjustable endpoints so you can cut out a portion of your video that provides the best viewer experience. In the meantime, you can still do this via YouTube editor. This was something that was raised that was needed in a review around right about November by Susan Wojcicki, and it was something that would combat short clips that were unintentional. You know, when you're walking through a fairground, it's in the background, if you're vlogging out in public, that kind of thing, that would immediately strike your entire video and maybe ruin your flow or hit your pocket. This tool has been rolled out to many people already. It may not just be with you just yet, but when it does arrive, I'll do a step-by-step -step tutorial. At the end of the day, I feel that this is a good step forward. This is proof that the new YouTube studio can really help us. I know people are stuck on YouTube Studio Classic, right? And my cat seems to want to pop into every video I ever do. Um, but basically, this new YouTube Studio allows them to engineer things like this, new solutions to new problems. What do you think? Please leave a comment down below. If you have any issues with YouTube Studio, there's a playlist here.